I'm in love with a fat electrician. Hey, fragrance family, I'm David, and I'm a fragrance bro, of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Today, I have a video on this. Fat Electrician by Atatlib Durange. Now, I really like Atatlib Durange or Eldo as a lot of people have called them. And their fragrances um, are really, really interesting. They kind of skirt the line sometimes between wearable and artistic. And they really kind of skirt that line. Sometimes I find they're too artistic for me. <laughs> but not this one. Fat Electrician is an excellent fragrance. And so I'm gonna talk about that today. Now, Twisted Lily actually sent me Fat Electrician for review, so just keep that in mind. But of course, I'm gonna always keep it honest on this channel, you know that. And also too, I want to mention that they sent me a sample of Exit the King, which is, wow, this is really, really wild. Um, I don't know how to describe this one yet. <laughs> I'll put some notes of this on the screen just so you can see, it's wild. Definitely check out Exit the King when you can. Now, Fat Electrician came out in 2009, I believe, and it has a subtitle that says a semi-modern vetiver on the side there. And I think that's really interesting because I do find that it is kind of modern, but um, not too modern, I guess. <laughs> and I'm not exactly sure what they mean by a semi-modern vetiver, but all the same, it is definitely a vetiver scent. And honestly, one of my favorite vetiver scents out there. Now I'll put some of the notes of this on the screen, but needless to say, I get maybe three notes in this mostly, and that is vetiver, front and center, vetiver. Then I also get myrrh, and then I get vanilla. It's a really excellent semi-sweet balsamic woody vetiver, and I really enjoy this a lot. Now vetiver is sometimes, many times, a hard ingredient to kind of tame. It's its own kind of animal with a fragrance and will rapidly take over a fragrance. I don't always like vetiver and fragrances because of that reason. It has um, this really kind of astringent greenness and grassiness and woodiness. And some people really love that, but most of the time I don't like that. Personally, I usually like it when vetiver is a little bit more of a backseat or supporting role and not the main player. This, however, is different because vetiver is definitely the main player in this with the other notes just adding their own kind of supporting roles and kind of filling out the gaps and smoothing over the hard edges that vetiver can have. When I first smelled this, it reminded me immediately of an experiment that we did years and years ago that we wanted to talk about on uh, the channel, but we never did. And we actually made our own molecule line of fragrances. So I've talked about it before, but the Eccentric Molecule line has synthetic ingredients in their fragrances, and they label all the synthetic ingredients in the Molecule line, which only has one note. So Molecule 01 has Isoe Super, Molecule 02 I think is Ambroxan, and Molecule 03 I believe uh, is Vetiviral Acetate. Two and three might be switched, I'm not sure. But I bought ingredients of all of those, then I bought some Everclear, <laughs> and then put it into bottles and made our own Molecule 01, 2, and 3. But what this really reminds me of is vetiviral acetate, which is that vetiver, that synthetic vetiver type of smell. So at first I get a lot of that uh, synthetic vetiver, and I'm okay with that. I don't mean that as a pejorative to the blend or the fragrance. I get that kind of vetiver type of smell here. And whenever that comes up, especially when you smell it right on your skin, what I get is um, almost like boiled peanuts. Now down here in the south, in the deep south, you can get peanuts that are boiled and people will just eat them, shells and all. Not my thing, but it has a distinct smell. It has almost a vegetable type of uh, smell to it and it really reminds me of that. Now in the air, whenever you smell it off your skin, um, that boiled peanut type of thing goes away. It doesn't have as, as strong of a vegetable type of aroma as it does right on your skin. And the two players that really come up to really help this fragrance are the myrrh and the vanilla. Now I love myrrh and I love vanilla. And I find that these two really work together to kind of bring up the almost uh, sweet musky quality that this could have and rounds off that almost earthy, dirty type of thing that is going on uh, with vetiver normally. The fact that this vetiver is paired with myrrh I think is a little interesting because it reminds me somewhat of uh, Dior Eau Sauvage Parfum. A flanker to the original Eau Sauvage came out a few years ago and I have a review of that on my channel. In that one they have vetiver paired with myrrh and some other notes. I didn't really love it that much because I thought that the myrrh was really competing with the, uh, the vetiver and they're really fighting. And when the myrrh kind of overtook the vetiver some, I really found that the blend worked out better. This is that to me. It smells like the myrrh it really kind of helps out the fragrance a lot. So they really hit the balance really well. And 
the vanilla in this, I think really kind of carries it, especially in the base, and adds the sweetness that I think you really need in this fragrance. What you get mostly is just a really kind of sweet vetiver scent that is green and a little bit resinous and sweet and has that vanilla nuttiness in there. It's excellent. I really, really love it. I don't know why it's called Fat Electrician. They have like a little story on uh, their website about it that doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> it also doesn't remind me of electricians or uh, blue collar uh, workers at all. Uh, so I don't really understand the connection here. But that said, I do find that this is a masculine scent. Um, not too masculine, not old school masculine. And maybe that's what they mean by semi-modern vetiver. It is modern masculine in some ways, but it leans a little bit on kind of an old school type of flair. So yeah, something modern, I guess. <laughs> Performance on me was really good. I would find that this is in the average to excellent range as far as projection, longevity uh, easily in the average range, probably even more going into the excellent range about maybe nine hours or so. Now, because this is a vetiver, because this is myrrh and vanilla, I would definitely put this more uh, for fall and winter. I think this worked great for day and night. And I think because of that, in those particular settings, this is a great kind of anytime wear fragrance. I think you can wear this for a lot of different occasions and situations, and it'll be perfectly okay in all of them. I think it's a great uh, kind of universal type of scent. All in all, Fat Electrician is great. It's a four out of five for me. I really, really love this. I would love to know your thoughts though. Let me know down in the comments what you think of Fat Electrician. And that is all I have. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I love you for it. And click that little bell so you get a notification every time I make an upload. Thanks again for watching. Let me know what you think of Fat Electrician. Do you like it? This is my spirit animal, guys. A Fat Electrician. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with the Fragrance Bros. Bye.